News with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. It's considered one of the greatest sports films of all time, and the man behind the camera that helped make it happen is actually right here from Northeast Indiana. Tonight, he's being honored in a big way, and Joe Whalen has more from the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame in Newcastle. In a room full of state champions, perhaps it is an individual who never even claimed a sectional crown who has had the most far-reaching impact on Indiana basketball. Decatur native David Anspaugh, the director of the beloved film Hoosiers, will be inducted into the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame later this evening in Indianapolis. And all these years later, Anspaugh still can't believe this small project on Indiana high school hoops has taken him so far. At this point in time, uh, if you can't tell by... The wide-eyed look in my face, I, I'm, I, it's overwhelming. I mean, literally, I've been here five minutes and trying to absorb it all. It's a great honor, obviously. Our, our most fervent wish was that if, if only the people of Indiana will embrace it. That's all that mattered to us because, you know, we have and had a lot of family and friends here, and we wanted to be able to come home again and, in you know, not... Uh, mess this one up you know i mean if you screwed up the story of Milan, you know then we would have to sneak in to decatur and fort wayne and bloomington under the cover of darkness in addition to ann's ball former harding standout james master indiana's mr basketball in 1980 will also be inducted later this evening you can see our complete interview with him on the sports page of wayne.com reporting at the indiana basketball hall of fame in newcastle joe allen news channel 15 sports